Cactus Reigns. I think um, uh, you um, uh, also would be interested in what Agnes Rudzite, an artist, a graphic designer, um, the uh, tactile uh, project manager, uh, is going to say. Uh, so uh, you, uh, your title uh, doesn't contain a uh, comma or full stop. So are you going to place uh, commas um, after every word, or um, you will leave um, those words without um, uh, without uh, points or commas? Uh, in in uh, English, um, that saying might go, uh, let's see, Grandma, and uh, do place uh, your comma wherever you want. So, Agnes, uh, what are you going to talk about? Uh, so, your 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 um, presentation is called "Touch Aloud, Not to Fear." Hello, answers. Yeah. First of all, thank you very much for uh, this very enriching conference, and I wish everyone health and uh, also let the uh, environment unite. And talking about these tactile things and about commas, um, actually, yes, of course, uh, it depends on us where we insert them, whether we insert them or not. I am an artist, uh, Agnes Rudzita from Liepāja, and one of my um, activities is creating tactile artworks, because I consider that um, artificial expressions is like a bridges between people. First time publicly I exposed my tactile works in 2014 in the exhibition organized by Liepāja Museum. And all these works uh, were put uh, down, laying down, and uh, that was easy for people to touch them. And uh, around or under this work, there were a guest book. So everyone who looked at it or touched this work, they had a possibility to sign and leave a signature. And this is the way how I received the feedback. At the opening of the exhibition, people uh, were uh, very slow to start touching because uh, very strongly we have uh, the idea that it is not allowed to touch the museum, uh, what is exposed in the museum, all the objects. And next exhibition was organized in January 2015 in Riga in the bio, blind, uh, library for the blind people. Over there, we didn't need to encourage uh, people because, uh, for example, here, the visitor Andres was uh, touching and reading all these works, and he said, hmm, I don't understand. What's the meaning? At some works, he said, oh, interesting, something different. And he said, I most of uh, all I like uh, a bog with uh, berries and uh, and uh, all the plants, and also flowers, which I can recognize very well. Next, uh, my exhibition was um, taken to Ventspils city, and uh, people also shared experience. Do they have a feeling? Uh, do they feel that there is a difference between warm and cold colors? And some said no, it's just a legend, but some said yes. Also, in this exhibition, the, the visitors were trying to touch and to smell and to listen to these works. And so by this, uh, they got to know the texture and also the temperature of the object. For example, one lady who was blind, uh, she associated the, uh, the thick uh, fabric with black color. In the personal exhibition gap, which happened in Liepāja, the focus was uh, on the image in the center. 
on the table in the center, and uh, these tactile works uh, were placed on this. The table has a very symbolic meaning in the culture of Latvia. The table unites, uh, provides possibilities for dialogue, and also invites to think about everyone. In tactile works, uh, there is also an element of play, and children like them. Blind children can um, get to know these uh, works uh, in their own way, and children who have good vision, they play in a different way. Children in general like playing and like uh, getting to know the world through their feelings, uh, touching. I believe that children have to be introduced to the arts uh, since the very childhood so that they get to know certain things and um, uh, not uh, be afraid of art. Not everything has to be hidden behind this glass uh, that it cannot be touched. In the library was also created a guest book from the uh, paper from Carton, and uh, it was also sent to me, and I integrated it in, in an artwork, and it was also sent to Liepai, and this was the way how we together with Ivars created a bridge, and we did it by the help of art. And tactile dimension is um, indispensable in my art because I cannot imagine myself doing anything without it. Whether this is an exhibition in the Republic of Korea where little children are touching those works of art, or this is an art class in Liepaja in the Society for Blind People. And in this work with a uh, yellow teapot, we can see that Arthur, um, who is a blind man, I had um, prepared already a paper with contours, and uh, he was touching them, and he was painting. And he was uh, choosing colors and uh, was asking and discussing together with me. So tactile works have to be universal. And creation of them require, of course, a lot of uh, time resources. Of course, we can use uh, 3D, 3D printing and CMC equipment. But then we also need to think what are the tactile works, uh, what gives them soul, what speaks to their uh, creation and imagination. This is a cooperation from two sides, and we can talk about tactile art when all the basic needs are satisfied. A person can feel safe and comfortable, uh, not hungry and uh, not cold. But how comfortable we feel when there is a complete darkness around us, when you have to trust only your feelings and your senses. The first reaction is denial and blocking yourself. And then tactile works uh, can serve as uh, uh, these cushions, uh, air cushions, and uh, those works, uh, they can endure everything praises and also mocking, and uh, uh, they become better during the process because uh, you don't need to be afraid. You can touch them. Thank you very much. Yes, Agnes, thank you very much uh, for what you are doing and showing to us. In uh, some sense, uh, it really uh, is uh, very, very uh, impressive. And I um, was visiting Liepai uh, Exhibition Hall, and uh, I saw the paintings by famous uh, authors, which I wasn't allowed to touch. And uh, somebody was all the time kind of watching me not to touch. And then I went out into the garden and I intentionally was uh, touching uh, the sculptures and so on. And so how as an artist uh, you 
um, understand this feeling that uh, everything should be touchable. But I, my grandma also is a textile artist, and uh, I at home I can touch her works. But when in exhibition, we don't consider that everyone can go and uh, touch. And um, I can of course touch a chair like I'm doing now. Um, is it uh, okay? Is it? Um, or should we reassess it? Because we are uh, at a United Design Conference, and we are looking for a new normal. We are learning from something. Uh, you are living in Liepāja, uh, the city the mo to the most to the west. So is it a westward approach uh, to move towards it? I can answer only about myself, since I publicly uh, put out these tactile works. Uh, it is allowed to touch all of them, and people know it. And if my works are in some kind of uh, exhibition, the guides know it, and they tell people, and people are touching them. But if we talk about uh, fabrics and uh, some works, um, uh, which are touched too much, um, but you can wash them or you can put a new layer of lacquer. Uh, those are the materials. So what is the most important are those contexts and bridges and how we bridge those gaps. Uh, this is important for me. Of course, I know that uh, I will not be allowed to touch the painting by our most famous uh, author, painter Purvītis, of course, uh, but then um, there are other designs uh, that we can create and we can touch them. And of course, not all of the people have to do it, but I have chosen to take this way. And I like it myself very, very much. And the conversations which uh, I have uh, in front of those works, uh, I really feel emotionally touched and almost I uh, start crying because this is so enriching and I am so happy that I can take this way. Yes, in, in this case, uh, talking about this tactile approach uh, for a person who cannot enjoy this uh, visual art in another way, you can give this. Uh, and this is a very good uh, situation in Strasdumoyzhe where there are blind children. And this is the only opportunity for them. This is 